Good news to all farmers. It's time for farmers to start smiling because we are bringing information back to back, back to back information to farmers. So stay tuned in this page. I will be back. Welcome to my platform, Beko Farm Academy and Beko Farm Enterprise. Please, if you are new, do well to follow me and subscribe to my platform so you'll be benefiting from all the videos I will be bringing out. Remember, we are still doing our campaign to raise 10 million agropreneurs in Africa and to make sure that every household in Africa has backyard garden. That's why we are bringing information back to back to all farmers and gardeners. So today I'm going to talk about one of the insect pests that actually destroy a lot of, you know, farms and garden for farmers that make them to be sad. That's why I say we are bringing good news that will make you to smile. Okay, so let's get to the farm. Let me show you this. One of the promises I promised us that we would try to be able to sort out some of the pests that I've discovered that most fans they don't even know some of these pe pests. Now, one you can see here, you see we are, my hand is pointing. We call it squash box. Squash box. If you kill it now, it will smell very fine. Now, when you allow it to be in your farm, before you know, it will mass produce. And what they do, sometimes you will see that they look for will that the the that is when you allow us to be a farm fight and this very one you only either you and pick kill that's why you don't even need to allow it to dominate farm or you use a contact uh, pesticide to spray because if you use systemic and you spray your farm and leave and they come in to nothing, nothing will happen so they need a contact pesticide that as it contacts them them down so that's why i bring this for you to know so please understand that this is what we call squash box it affects not only in um, cooking but it, it affects squash and other vegetables this is how it look like let me show it so you can see it like you can see how it look like just look at it it's already swimming very very well Fly. So this is how it is. We call this one squash box. Thank you very much. I'm in the farm. Right. I've three fruits just in one size. Three fruits in size. Okay. So you've seen from the video now in the farm when I was in the farm showing you the picture and now what we call squash box look like. Have you witnessed that before in your farm? Have you experienced that before in your farm? Did you know it? Please just drop it in the comment section. Let me know about it. So let me quickly, you know, tell us some of the damages, you know, caused or done by squash box in a farm. Number one, sometimes you might have known or you weren't, you wasn't aware of this. So know it now. Number one is that the saliva of squash box can be toxin to plant and can carry cocoa beets yellow vine disease cocoa beets yellow vine disease and which is a bacterial disease that's why sometimes you will discover that when this squash box that just finished washing me in the farm trying to demonstrate and show you enter your farm sometimes you see that it would affect some of the crop especially like cucumber they will start wilting it is as a result of the saliva of it. That is one. Secondly, their activities in the farm or in the garden cause yellow spots, yellow spots that eventually turn brown. That is when they are in the farm, the activities in the farm it will cause yellow spots, which would eventually turn brown in the farm. So sometimes. And there are always a, a, a kind of very clear for you to see. They, 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 are, they are obvious when they are in your farm. So when you when they start, 
you know, dominating your farm, the activities in your farm or in your garden, they will not turn a kind of having some jello spots. Not all jello spots are caused by scratch box. Please take note of this. Not all, but most of the activities lead to, you know, jello spots. And at the end of the day, it will eventually turn brown. So that is the second damage caused by scratch box. All right. Thirdly, what they also do is suck the sap out of, you know, the leaf with their piercing, sucking mouth parts. So once they start sucking the sap from it, it affects, you know, it affects the plant. The plant will not be performing very fine, you know, in the farm. So that's why you don't allow them to stay longer. As you just see that because before you know, they start sucking the sap from the, the, the leaves of the plant. And before you, you know, it would affect because they are piercing mouth parts. That's what they will use to suck it. And a part of the sucking, you know, insect pests. Thank you for being part of this mission of raising 10 million agropreneurs in Africa and making sure that every household has backyard garden. Please stay tuned with us. Support us by sharing our videos, commenting, liking our videos. Let this go. Africa, we can make it. We can correct the past mistakes. Let's change the narrative. Let's do it together.